What's going on guys? My name is Marco here with Marco's Tech Talk today and uh, the video I'm making today is going to be of me installing an additional 8 gigabytes of RAM in my HP Omen laptop here. So the laptop only has 8 gigs of RAM in it at this time when it was uh, built it only, has eight, it only had 8 gigs of RAM in it and uh, that's kind of starting to prove to be a little uh, limited when it comes to playing games. Uh, when I play PUBG on that thing sometimes it's maxed out at like 93% RAM usage on there and frame rate goes down a little bit from uh, you know my experience anyway. So I'm assuming that adding another 8 gigabytes of RAM will definitely help performance in this particular situation. Um, yeah guys, so that's about it. We're just gonna go ahead and get right into the install. I uh, have not even opened this laptop up yet, so what you guys will be seeing here is uh, me working through it um, to just get this thing installed. So it might run into some issues, might not. I'm not really sure what this is gonna entail just yet. So uh, if you guys want to do this, please uh, proceed at your own risk. All that good stuff there. And yeah, guys, so uh, we're going to get right into it. All right, so here's the laptop now, the HP Omen, uh, that I've done the videos on that you guys have probably seen. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing started here to open it up. I probably should put something under it to protect it from getting scratched, but I really don't want to use a towel or anything like that because I feel like that may cause some more damage. As long as I'm not sliding it around, we should be okay. So let me get a screwdriver and we will be right back. All right, so there's gonna be a few screws here that you guys are gonna see. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 screws on the bottom of this. And from my understanding, after we take these off, it should be good to go as far as popping the RAM in. So these screws in particular are going to be Phillips head screws. I'm just going to grab a Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and get started on this guy here. Alright, so at this point, all the screws have been removed, and I'm going to try to pull the case off. These, like I said, I'm not sure. I guess we're about to find out if they're uh, captive or not. So let's give it a little tug and see what results from that. Okay, so it looks like we're definitely not getting this off uh, without removing these ones. I don't really want to pull on it in any other capacity because breaking this would be the less than ideal situation. Just don't know why this won't come out. I probably have to actually look up a DIY. Or maybe not, maybe that's... And it looks like we need to get these out because they're definitely uh, holding this back. All right, so I just looked up how to do this, and these are in fact captive screws, so I won't be removing them. So it looks like I just have to kind of pull up on it according to the DIY I looked at. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. I guess we're going to see how this works out here. The DIY made it look super easy, but don't they all, huh? I think. Oh, I think I got it started. There we go, I think it has these clips. Wow, kudos to them actually for making it so secure. I'm actually very surprised. The Mac just pops, like slides right off once the screws are in them. So this, I guess I'm gonna wanna work in a kinda motion here that keeps it all linear. Sweet. All right, so we got all that off. Here's the bottom case. It's got serial numbers and whatnot on it, it looks like, so that's great. We're gonna set that aside. 
somewhere. Nice, right, so now we're inside the laptop here. And, uh, yeah. So this is the first time I've actually opened up a Windows laptop. I've been working on MacBooks forever, but uh, anyway, so it looks like we have our M.2 drive here, our NVMe drive is going to be right here. Uh, our RAM is here. So we do have one stick of 8GB RAM in there right now, and this is going to be where the next one goes. This is more than likely the display cable right here. Uh, this is probably the GPU on this side, the 1050 Ti is probably right there. Um, and the i7 is probably going to be on this side. This is, looks like the wireless card. If I remember from the MacBook correctly, this may be the uh, chipset, perhaps. Looks like a little chipset. And here's the one terabyte uh, drive that, um, you know, comes with it as storage that I might be upgrading in the future. Maybe, maybe not. Here are our speakers that look very tiny. Very tiny speakers, indeed. And a lot of heat piping, which I like to see. That's awesome there. And I could see how the uh, vents definitely, uh, how it exits from there. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and open up the package here of RAM and get that installed in there real quick and get this guy back in there. And the battery, of course, is going to be on the, on the uh, bottom right here, which is, you know, fine. Probably the majority of the weight of this laptop is the battery. Sweet. So this is 2400 megahertz RAM. I'm not sure if I said that earlier. This is it. This should be 2400 megahertz RAM. It's the keyword there that it should be. I'm hoping it is because I'm not sure if it's going to work properly if it's not. So, make of that what you will. Looks like we're going to go ahead and install it this way. So I'm not sure if these clips lift up or if I'm supposed to just kind of sort of do this. Alright, it looks like I did it. Alright, that was it. Rams installed, guys. That was it. <laughs> Alright. So the install of the back cover, or the bottom cover is going to be the reverse of removal. So we'll go ahead and get that going right now just to get this all finished up here. Well, all right, guys, that's going to sum up the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Please remember to subscribe and uh, all that good stuff there. And that'll do it, guys. Thanks a lot.